Hi, today we are going to create angle guide in Catia V5. This is the part drawing of angle guide we are going to create today. All the dimensions are in metric system. So let's get started. We are going to make top view first. So select XY plane and click on sketch. Select center rectangle and make a rectangle. Click on isometric view to check if our diagram is in proper orientation or not. Give the dimensions to the rectangle. The total length of the object is 100mm and the breadth is 66mm. Now our sketch is fully constrained. Exit the sketch and click on pad. The thickness of the object is 18mm. Give the thickness, click OK. Now select the front face of the object. Click on sketch. Take profile command and draw a rough sketch of u-shaped closed profile now after making the profile we have to keep the relation select the corner points and make it coincident do the same for the right side corner point make it coincident keep the distance from the center of the profile to, to the top edge. Make this line as tangent. Exit the sketch, click on pad, reverse the direction, giving the thickness and click OK. Now we have to make a hole in the center. So select the whole command, click on the face and select the positioning option. Make the center of the hole concentric to the outer arc. Give the diameter of hole and click OK. Next we have to make a circular cut at an angle. So take the plane option we are going to rotate a plane on the edge so select angle and normal plane select the edge as our rotation axis and our reference as either the yz plane or the face give the angle as 15 degree and our plane is set now select the plane click on sketch and now we are going to draw our circle the true radius of the circle is 19, so we have to give the radius as 19. After giving the radius, make the center of the circle coincident to the edge. And make sure your circle is at the center. Exit the sketch and click on pocket. Make it up to next or up to last. Click on more and select the second direction, also the same, up to last. Click OK. Now your cut at an angle of 2 radius 19 is made on the part. Now we have to make the cut on the right side. So just select the face and sketch on it. Make a rectangle and keep the dimensions as required. So the distance from so the top edge is 7 and the total length of the cut is 35. Make the corner line coincident to the corner edge. Now our sketch is fully constrained so exit the sketch and select the pocket option. Select the type as up to next and click OK. Now the next thing we have to do is make four holes on the top. So before that we are going to just fill in the sides. The fillet radius is six. Click on preview, click OK. Now there is one more fillet to be given of radius five at the bottom. Give the radius as five, click OK. Now moving to making the holes on the top. So we are going to select the whole command, select the top face, 
give the diameter of the hole as 12.64 or 65 now we have to position the hole correctly the distance from the corner is 51 and distance from the center is 14 now our hole is fully constrained and now you can insert the sketch click ok as you can see our first hole is ready so instead of making four separate holes we are going to use the rectangular pattern command you can find that option from insert tab transformation features and rectangular pattern you can see a dialog box here select the object as our hole select the parameter as instances and spacing keep the instances as 2 and the spacing is 20 mm now give the reference uh, the reference should be any line or edge in which you want your hole to be now select the second direction and keep the instances as 2 and distance as 33 the spacing is 23 as you can see the preview we can see the three holes are made automatically instead of doing the long and tedious process we can use the rectangular pattern command as a shortcut our angle bearing is complete now thank you for watching see you guys in my next video